Okay, quite a lot of the prints that I do on the 3D printer take, I don't know, seven, eight hours, something like that. Um, so one of the drawbacks with that is you don't really want to be shackled to the printer while it's it's printing. Um, you know, you want to be able to leave the room, leave the house, go about your business. There's a, a small risk of fire with the with the 3D printer. You wouldn't really want to leave one unattended. Um, but what we're going to try and do is rig up this suppression system. So the way that this works, we're going to set fire to the little piece of... Uh, PLA there, and I'm so going to put that in this tin can I've just stuck down to the bed that the printer's off at the minute. Um, the idea is then obviously the smoke will set off this smoke detector. Uh, this wise cam will, is set to listen for the smoke alarm sound. Um, once it hears the smoke alarm sound, um, it will via the if this then that, the if this then that app, it will turn on a Wi-Fi socket I've got down there, which will in turn turn on this linear actuator, which it's set at the minute to, to pull. Um, so that will pull down, should pull the handle down and will discharge CO2 gas onto the uh, the burning burning plastic there and fingers crossed should put the, um, the thing out. The first attempt that I had at this, the extinguisher wasn't supported properly and it bloody pirouetted and fell all over, <laughs> all over the bloody place but it was uh, it was funny if nothing else and I'll put the footage at the at the end of this video so you can have a laugh. Um, so what I'll do once this is actuated and um, discharge some CO, CO2 onto the, uh, the, the the fire down there I'll, I'll quickly turn this back into reverse so I don't want to fill the room full of, of CO2 and maybe on my knees choking so uh, that's the uh, that's the plan anyway so let's see how we go.